In Gaza, civilians have only one place left to go, a tiny strip called Al Mawasi. It now plays host to 1.9 million people, squeezed onto every speck of earth. Who would choose to live in a cemetery? Well, new arrivals have no choice. Al Mawasi was designated a humanitarian area by the Israelis, but there's no more space to be found. Where else would we go? Al Mawasi is full. Here, we're with dead friends and family. And in any case, we'll be down there with them soon. The graveyard smells of decomposing bodies, and the children find it hard to sleep. But there's still some room around the graves. On a normal day before the war, this was a scary place. We'd walk by as quickly as possible. Can you imagine having to sleep in the middle of it? Gaza has long been overcrowded. But the use of evacuation orders by Israel's military has made a bad situation worse. Last October, the Israelis ordered civilians to move south of the Wadi Gaza River, the north officially declared off-limits. People were told to travel to al Mawasi. Over the course of the next six months, new evacuation orders were issued for parts of central and southern Gaza. In May, half of the city of Rafa was added, with civilians ordered to evacuate to an expanded humanitarian area at al Mawasi. In July, the humanitarian zone was reduced multiple times to protect people from combat, said Israel. More than 70% of Gaza has now been declared off-limits to the population. There are parts of al Mawasi where people cannot live. Piles of garbage and untreated sewage have made some areas uninhabitable. And with no sanitation or clean water, people are getting sick. They get all these diseases, rashes, insect bites. We don't even know what insects they are. The way the skin swells, we've never seen it. It's almost like a, you know, a science fiction movie, a post-dystopian, apocalyptic science fiction set. There's piles of rubble, piles of garbage, unpassable roads, roads with sewage running down them. And it's just, it's, it's a horrific situation for everyone that's here just trying to survive. They make bonfires at night in an attempt to keep the mosquitoes at bay. But they can't do anything about the sewage and nothing, it seems, about disease. There's a high risk of cholera and polio and everybody's got a problem with their skin. Here's one of the kids. Look at what's happened. Look at how she is suffering. No one can help me. Mustafa and his children have been living next to a pile of garbage for the past two months. People say they're going to remove the garbage, the dead donkeys and the dead horses, but no one's done anything yet. The UN chief in Gaza told us he just briefed the British Foreign Secretary and Attorney General about al Mawasi. I think the foreign minister in particular used what he took from us to advocate with the government of Israel. But the only thing that will make a demonstrable difference is a ceasefire, and it needs to happen soon. Because life in al Mawasi has become intolerable. John Sparks, Sky News in Jerusalem.